Time now for night court, or food court, if you will. Dutch Brewing Company, Heineken USA, being sued over the labeling of its, quote, alcohol-free beer. The plaintiff is a Louisiana woman who's taking issue with Heineken 0.0, .0 which she says is simply misleading because the product does actually contain a small amount of alcohol. Let's bring in tonight's legal eagles to discuss and debate criminal defense attorney David Bruno and civil rights attorney Robert Patillo. All right, guys, uh, listen, this is one of those, come on, really? Are we making a big deal out of it? But some people say, yeah, it better be no alcohol if it says no alcohol. And so, David, I want to begin by sharing with the audience Exhibit A. Here's what Heineken says. Now it says, okay. Look, you can look right there. 0, 0.0, but it could be up to 0 0.3. I mean, come on. Is it really that big of a deal, David? What's your take? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm for the plaintiffs in the lawsuit. Why? Because there is some strict interpretation of uh, this law. I mean, look, it, it, not only is it saying that it's alcohol free, but it has 0, 0.0 in the labeling. You know, and as consumers, there are some there are some really tough consumer laws all across the country. Um, in New Jersey, is one of the toughest, but in that state, it's 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 there. It's there for the protection of consumers, and it allows for attorneys' fees as well. Look, there's misrepresentations, and when there's a misrepresentation, it really doesn't matter how little it is. If it's not 0, 0.0 and there is alcohol in it, I would side with the plaintiffs in the lawsuit. All right. Well, I, look, I get that. And I'm sure there are some people who say, look, if I want it to say no alcohol and I absolutely don't take in alcohol in my body, it better be no alcohol. I'm going to share Exhibit B, guys, before I welcome you into the conversation, Robert. Uh, this is uh, the headline says, what is the alcohol content of Heineken 0.0? .0? What does 0.03 percent ABV mean? It means this. This is comparable or lower level of alcohol versus other food products such as bread, bakery products, and juices, bananas, due to the natural fermentation of the ingredients, cereals, and fruits. I mean, basically what they're saying here is this is negligible. So why is this even an argument, Robert? This is an argument because there are some attorneys who like to make money, and a good way to do that is to sue large corporations. <laughs> let's, let's just be for real here. Under U.S. law, 0.5% is what is required for something to be labeled as non-alcoholic beer, 0.5%. This is over 10 times lower than the legal limit of 0.5% at 0.03%. This is a trace amount of alcohol that often occurs uh, uh, naturally in food products. This is less alcohol than is in kombucha. This is less alcohol than, than will be in orange juice to many cases. And the only reason that this is a case is because some smart trial attorney out there figured we can sue a big company and they'll probably settle out of court uh, without wanting to take it to trial. We can make a big stink out of it. We can make a couple of dollars. This is why people dislike lawyers often. And I, do, I do think it's a novel argument to say you said 0, 0.0 and it is 0 0.03 percent, uh, but I don't think this will go very far in court. Yeah, this might have more alcohol in it than I get in like good and plenties. I'm not sure. Uh, let me share Exhibit C really quickly, guys. This is the plaintiff conclusion, it says this, reasonable consumers must and do rely on a company to honestly identify and describe the components, attributes, and features of the product relative to itself and other comparable products or alternatives. Had the plaintiff known that the product contained any amount of alcohol, she would not have consumed it. That seems to be the crux of the argument there, David. In the last 30 seconds we have, any chance that she decides to back down, you think, or do you think this is worth pushing to the limit. I, I agree with Robert. I, you know who ends up in the end? It's the attorneys. The attorneys are the ones that make the money on this with the with the lawsuit. Hey, look though. I mean, there there are some religions that prohibit uh, the consumption of alcohol. That's true. So there are some people that are actually allergic to alcohol. You know, so it, it, it kind of could be a big deal for a small fraction of the population. But when it says 0, 0.0, it should be 0, 0.0. And that's where this plaintiff is, uh, is aligned. 10 seconds left, Robert. It's all yours. If you want 0.00000% alcohol, drink water. It's all around you. Just grab a bottle anytime. But if you want some kind of magical substance that tastes like beer but has nothing in it, I don't think that exists in science yet. David Bruno, Robert Patello, gents, thank you as always. We appreciate it. Have a good weekend, guys. Thank you, guys.